The Canada that you see on your screen is not reflective of the Canada that you see outside. So oftentimes you turn on the TV and what do you see? Women and minorities are often reflected in inaccurate ways, or in ways that stereotype them. Think sexy secretary, the black thug, the South Asian convenience store clerk. Or their roles are just not integral to the plot. So why is that important? It's important because what you see on the screen should be reflective of our experiences as Canadians. This project is really about the why and the how. Why and how do we end up with the stories that we do? We think that that's related to um, the ability of more diverse people to actually be able to tell stories with the screen. And that is corroborated by the fact that there are such low levels of diversity in the labor force. So we interviewed many people to find out what their work experiences were and how they explained the way that their career developed. I guess one of the things that really struck me was how emotional it was for people and, and several people were in tears during these interviews. Being excluded from something is never a nice feeling. So there's a whole series of filters that prevent a lot of Canadian stories from being told. I think social class is one because it's mainly educated people who can get into the industry. Uh, gender is definitely an issue. Race is definitely an issue. Age is definitely an issue. Essentially, you know, we bring our own sensibilities and our perspectives and our experience to the creative work that we do. So if the people who are doing this work are from one particular community only, then you're not going to get a wide variety of perspectives reflecting the kind of diversity that we have now in Canada. So new platforms like YouTube and Vimeo, where people can actually post videos themselves, are opening things up. They remove this filter of, you know, the broadcaster, which is the traditional gatekeeper, so that's a good thing. But we just don't know yet whether or not these new platforms will lead to successful and sustainable careers. We're optimistic, but we just don't know. There is a price to pay for exclusion. We're all losing out and not hearing wonderful stories about who we are. So I, I think it's a, it's a great shame if we don't rectify this problem. Who gets to tell the stories? Who gets to tell the stories? Who gets to tell the stories? We all should.